In this video, we'll look at creating and using room templates in Adobe Connect. Every Adobe Connect room is based on a template, and that template defines the look and the feel of the room, including all of the layouts in that room, which pods are in each layout, as well as the content preloaded into the room itself. There are three default templates that come with Adobe Connect. When you create a new meeting room, the default meeting template is selected by default. When you create a seminar room, the default event template is selected. And when you create a new virtual classroom, the default training template is selected. These are only defaults though, and you can create your own templates to use to define the look and the feel of a brand new room. So for example, I'm going to create a room for a conference so that all of the different sessions in that conference have the same look and feel. I'm going to start by giving this room a name, like conference room. I'll give it a custom URL, although that's not as important with a template because we're not going to go into this room directly. Importantly, though, I am going to make sure that anybody who's got access to the URL can enter the room. And with that, I'll hit finish. And we'll open up the room. Now, what I've just created here is not a template. It is a standard meeting room. We're going to design this room to look exactly how we want it to look. We'll add the content that we want included in our template and then we'll turn it into a template so that any new rooms based on this template will take on the look and the feel of this room. So now I've got a standard meeting room with a sharing layout, a discussion layout, and a collaboration layout. Let me go ahead and design some different layouts for this room, starting with a lobby. Through the magic of video editing, I'll speed up this process. We'll end up with a room that's nicely designed. Okay, I've now set up a room that I'd like to use as a template for my conference sessions. It's got a lobby layout that people can join before the session begins with a countdown timer, a clock, a video that we can play. It'll let people know which session they're in with this image here, which can be swapped out for each session. That's followed by an introduction layout with some housekeeping items, as well as a poll. We'd have a speaker card up here that would be switched out based on the speaker a slides layout that can be used for uploading PowerPoint slides for each session, along with the video pod and conference chat, a polls layout that each presenter can configure to ask some polls during their session, a demo layout for any screen sharing that may be necessary, and a wrap up layout with a number of post session polls, as well as downloadable resources, helpful links, and the conference chat. So to turn this into a template, I'm simply going to close the room. I can even end the session here. And I'm going to move this room that I just created, conference room, if I go to my meetings, into my templates folder, which is in my meetings folder. So I'll select the conference room here and choose to move it. And I'll move it into my templates. I'll click on move. And now I've created a template that I can access. And I say I can access because it's in my templates folder. If I want anybody to be able to access it, I can move it into the shared templates folder. Now I would need administrative access to do, to do that. That's something that not every meeting host can do. Now though, when I create a new meeting room, I'll create a meeting room for session one, for example and we'll give this the custom URL of session one. Under select template, I've now got this conference room template that I just created. So let me go ahead and select that and create this brand new meeting room.
And when I open this room up, you can see that it brings in all of the content from my template, as well as the look and the feel. The background image is brought in. All of the different layouts that are created are automatically in this session one uh, room, as well as the content itself. Now I can switch out this content without affecting the template. This is just the default content that is in any room created with that new conference room template. So in this way, you can create templates to, sh to ensure consistency across all of your different sessions, or simply to add something like a background image for all of your rooms automatically. That's a quick look at creating and using templates in Adobe Connect.